Human Body, a compilation of sequences from the popular science series, assembled and adapted to support the curriculum. The material is arranged by topic and labelled by national curriculum levels. Sequences intended for younger children may also be useful for revision, while those aimed at older children may be used for extension work. Teachers may wish to preview the programme before use. The only way you can get into the human body without cutting it open and seeing what's in there is to use an endoscope, which is like a mini telescope, a little narrow telescope that you can look through small holes or naturally occurring orifices without having to do any damage to the patient. The endoscopes have a dual system. One is a, an optical system for getting the image out, and the second is a fibre optic system which allows you to take light in. With this, you can explore the inside of the ear come face to face with digested food in the gut and take a closer look at the vocal cords. When you make a sound, vocal cords vibrate at anything from 100 to maybe five or 600 vibrations a second. If you look at them directly under direct light, they're just a blur. If you use a strobe light, then you can effectively halt the movement of the, the cords. Even though they're vibrating, you stop their apparent movement and that allows you to see all the interesting little ripples and things that are going on on the surface of the cords. Uh, that's phenomenal. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm a sword swallower. An SEM or scanning electron microscope is a special type of microscope that uses electrons instead of light to look at something. With this microscope, we can go to magnification of about times 300,000. But for most biological specimens, um, about times 50,000 is, is plenty. At times 50,000, you could see details on the surface of an individual bacterium. I create the moving sequence using a method called stop frame animation. This is an egg in the fallopian tube. Getting this moving picture involved taking hundreds of still pictures, each in a slightly different position, to create movement. It's a bit like making cartoons. The whole process for a single specimen can take about three days from beginning to end to complete. A scanning electron micrograph can also explain why your hair curls. Hair with a circular cross-section is straight. A flattened cross-section leads to curls. And you get wavy hair with a cross-section halfway between the two. Everything that is alive, and quite a few things that aren't, gives off heat. That's what you're looking at now. A heat-sensitive camera shows which parts of your body are hotter and which are cooler. Blue is the coldest, red is the hottest. And look at this newborn baby. His toes and nose feel the coldest. And he must be wrapped up to keep him warm. Time-lapse photography is a way of condensing time. You take one picture every few seconds or minutes or hours or even days or weeks and then play them back much more quickly to see in a short time something that really took much longer.
you can see sweat as it forms on the skin. Hair standing on end. Even hair growing. <laughs> 